Welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. In this video, we'll show you how to create a search strategy, which is the first step in conducting any research for a paper or other assignment. A search strategy is an organized group of words that's used to look for information. These words are pulled from your assignment and they combine all of the key ideas being researched. Once they're grouped together, they can be used to search a library catalog or database to find information related to your topic. A database is a searchable collection of information. In a library, a database is where you'll find electronic content, like journal and news articles, reports, stream video, and more. Having a good search strategy is an essential part of doing successful research. It's important to think about what you're going to search for and to plan what keywords you'll use before you start. Doing this gives you a much better chance of finding information that's useful and relevant to the topic of your assignment. Now that we know what a search strategy is and why it's so important, it's time to create one. We've broken the process down into four steps. First, reading the assignment and summarizing the topic. Second, identifying the keywords and ideas in the assignment. Third, brainstorming alternatives to those words. And fourth, combining those words in different ways to create your search. Let's take a look at each of these steps in more detail. The first step is summarizing the topic of the assignment. Start by reading your assignment over carefully. Make sure you understand what you're being asked to do and check in with your instructor if you don't. Find the action words. Look for words like define, describe, compare and contrast, and others. Look at the topic of your assignment. What are you being asked to write about? How does it relate to the rest of the course material? Using this information, write down the topic of your assignment using just one sentence. It will look something like this example. We've summarized our imaginary assignment with the sentence, I want to find information about the impact of GMOs on the Canadian food industry. Step two is identifying the keywords. Look carefully at the sentence you just wrote. What are the most important words and ideas in that sentence? It can be helpful to underline or highlight them to help you keep track. Let's do this using the sentence we just created. In this sentence, the key ideas are GMOs, Canadian, and food industry. Don't include words like journal, article, information, or the name of your course or program. These are too general and will give you too many results that aren't useful. Instead, try and be as specific as possible. Step three is finding alternative keywords. This is important because in English, we often use more than one word to describe the same idea. For example, someone might use the word job and someone else might say work or career. These similar words that have related meanings are called synonyms. The resources that you're looking at in the library's catalog and databases also use synonyms and related words. And it's important to try searching for these so you don't miss out on useful information. It's also helpful to think about spelling variations. A good example of this is the word color, spelled with a U here in Canada, but without a U in other parts of the world. Again, searching for different variations in spelling of the same word can help you to find more information. Finally, think about broader and narrower terms. A good example of this would be searching for the phrase healthcare if you're doing research on a topic related to nursing. Write down all of your keywords in a list and one by one think of alternatives to those words. Using the example we created earlier, we have three keywords, GMOs, Canadian, and food industry. For GMOs, we've written down genetically modified organisms, which is what GMO stands for. We've also included genetically modified crops and genetically modified food, which are related terms. For Canadian, we've written down Canada and Canadians, plural, which are alternative spellings. We've also written down the names of different Canadian provinces and territories, which are narrower terms. Finally, for food industry, we've written down food processing, agriculture, and food. Take some time and think carefully about these words. If you're having trouble, look at your class notes and readings, including any textbooks, use a thesaurus, or ask your instructor or a library staff member for help. Now it's time to group your words together to create your search. You can use the word and between words to tell the search software that you want both of those words included in any search result. You can use the word or between words 
to tell the software that you want one of those two words in any search result. If there's a term that you want to omit from your search results, you can include that word in the search preceded by the word not. When used in a search, these three words, and, or, and not, are called Boolean operators. You can also use brackets along with Boolean operators to make your search more specific. Just like a math equation, in a search, any terms enclosed in brackets are searched first. For example, using brackets around two words connected by AND, followed by two words connected with OR, tells the software that you want all of the words in the brackets and one of two words that follow the brackets. Try different combinations of keywords. Take some time and write them down, making sure you have a word that addresses each idea. When it's time to actually do your search, you'll already have a list of words ready to go. Let's try this using some of the words that we just wrote down. First, we have GMOs and Canadian and food industry. We use the word AND, all in capitals, between each word to tell the search software that all of the results must have all of these words. Next, we have genetically modified crops and Canada and agriculture or food industry enclosed in brackets. This tells the search software that all of the results must include both genetically modified crops and Canada and either agriculture or food industry. You can see that we've continued to group words together in different combinations using and, or, and brackets. It's important to try searching for different combinations of words because the search results will be different. And that's it. You've created your search strategy and now you have multiple combinations of search words that you can use to start looking for information. What's next? You can visit loyalistlibrary.com and start typing these groups of words into Catalyst to see what kind of results you get. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. The other videos in this series will introduce you to the library's website and help you to get started with Catalyst. We've also created a handout that you can use to guide you through creating your own search strategy. If you have questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.